Okay, in this video we're uh, changing the transmission, or not the transmission, but the differential fluid on a 2010 Chevy Traverse. And on this one, the fill plug for this unit is right here. And you'll fill up till it comes out of that plug. The drain plug is down in the bottom. See that one right here? And we'll go ahead and proceed with that. And now we're putting an AMZO 75W90 gear lube and holds about just over two pints, so a little over a quart. So basically that's the drain plug and fill plug again right here. Okay, this is the oil we took out. It was very black, broke down, and if you look at it in the light, there's a lot of uh, little metal flake, it looks like metal flake paint. That's the wear metal that's in it. Um, the only uh, filter that's in that system is this magnet right here. And this is this magnet had quite a bit of uh, fuzz on it, you know, wear metals. Um, this oil was long overdue for change. And uh, hopefully we can still get some good life out of that differential yet. But the brand new fluid, this is what it looks like right here. Kind of an amber color. Almost uh, clear. So you get some idea, you look at that and you look at this. This stuff here is just, you know, it, it's black, it's nasty. It's broke down. And, uh, yeah, overdue. So we're going to fill it up with the Amsoil 75W90 Severe Gear Extreme Pressure Lube. Uh, it's a chemically engineered synthetic and it resists the thermal breakdown and thermal runaway. So uh, this has got a service life of about 100,000 miles. So. Okay, we're working on the transfer case on our 2010 Chevy Traverse. And on this transfer case, right here where my finger is, is a drain plug. And right up here is the fill plug. And to give you some idea where that's at, right here is the exhaust pipes. And over here is your transaxle assembly and uh, you can see the wheel and all that over there but it gives you an idea where it's at and it holds about about 2.1 pints just over a quart of 75w90 we'll be putting amzo 75w90 in there and i'll uh, show you what the fluid looks like as we take it out okay the fluid coming out of this uh, transfer case is looking pretty good on this one and that's uh, actually still kind of an amber color so yeah it looks pretty good we're going to change it anyway, put in some fresh, and uh, the magnet itself, again, the only filter on that system is the magnet. And as we take a look at that, take a look at that magnet, there really ain't much on it. So, looking pretty good. We'll go ahead and fill her up and uh, get back with you. Good comparison here of the, the uh, transfer case fluid, the differential fluid, and brand new fluid. I'm going to put a little sample of this new fluid in the bottom there, so you can kind of see what that looks like. And... We've got a little bit of this transfer case fluid here. It's a 90 weight, and uh, you can see it's a little darker. And then this here is the differential fluid, which has a lot of looks like metal flake in it, wear metals. But you can definitely see the the difference in the in the fluids, and and it looks like that differential takes a lot more beating than what that transfer case does, because I believe on this vehicle we had almost 100,000 miles. These two fluids are in the same amount of time. So, just to give you some idea, that differential takes quite a beating back there. It's something that you don't want to neglect. And if you do, you know, you're going to be putting, you know, a couple grand in a differential. So, but that just gives you some idea of the difference of right there. Brand new. This here is the used stuff out of the, uh, the transfer case. And this here is the differential. So. Alrighty, thank you for watching my video and uh, have a great day. Thank you for watching my YouTube video. Please check out my other videos on my YouTube page. And I want to introduce you to Amzol's full line of synthetic lubricants. Uh, we have the most complete line of synthetics for your automotive and light truck needs, uh, as well as heavy equipment and semis. Full line of synthetics been around since 1972, and you can check those out at www.donsoil.com. Also, we have a page for looking up fluid capacities, and that one is fluidcapacity.com. And you can go in there and you can get all your fluid capacities of your vehicle. You can print off a list so that you've got all the capacities of your cooling system, your transmission, your engine, all those. And have a great day.